All right, so a couple months ago, I did a video about a uh, replacing the taillight assemblies. They had a bunch of water inside them. Um, but then someone commented on that video, well, how do you replace this piece if you need to replace the entire piece or maybe you just need to replace the bulbs. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick video on that. I apologize in advance for the wind noise. I don't have room in the garage to fit this in there. Uh, so 10 millimeter. Here, these are pretty loose. I've loosened them up a little bit. So after you have the 10 millimeters um, screws out, uh, you're basically just going to wiggle it back and forth. You don't want to yank on it. What you've got going on inside this is right about here, you've got a metal pin sticking this way. And then over here, you've got a a gray tab that a plastic piece on the back of this is sliding into. So theoretically you should wiggle it up and down and then be able to pull straight back, but just don't yank on the whole assembly. All right, so I, I just managed to, get, managed to get this loose. The best approach is to come from this side and place a, a hand here and then push some force this way while you're moving it up and down, if that makes sense. Because what you're doing is this yellow piece, piece, excuse me, is sliding in there. And then this, this metal pin right here is locking into that, that white spot. Um, so that's it to get this whole piece off. And then you'll see right there, you've got access um, to all the bulbs or if you just wanted to change out the whole piece. Um, there you go. So then when we're putting it back, Sun, but basically set this over to the side like this line it up as best you can so I've I've pushed towards the front that's lined up with the, the yellow pan uh, and the gray tab in there and then coming back here kind of lined up with these try to do this with one hand so now I'm, I've got that pin that was right there in the middle that's lined up so theoretically if, as I'm pushing down right here I might be able to just I should click it without hearing any snaps all right so I'm giving that a, a good tug it seems to be in there now Tightened up there. All right, so then the last thing is just put the 10 millimeters uh, screws back in. The parts they're screwing into is plastic as well as this piece is plastic, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Just make sure it's all firm and you don't have a lot of wiggle room. This is back together and it is it's pretty stiff, so I think I've got that slid back in and the pins right where it's supposed to be. Keep an eye on it, but that feels pretty solid. But uh, yeah, it's pretty straightforward if you need to replace.